now it's time to check out what the other item was that I got in the big Amazon box. If you've seen my previous video on this 1900-piece uh, uh, feral kit, I didn't mention that I had something else in the box. So let's check that out. Something for us coffee lovers. What's that say? Made in Portugal. Wow. Something not made in China. Oh my God. So this is a Bodum, and I'm not a stranger to Bodum. I have their uh, French press coffee pot, which is back there. I use it from time to time. So this is a Bodum Bean Cold Brew Coffee Maker. Cold Brew Coffee. Mm. I've never had cold brew coffee, you know, other than the pre-made stuff in the store. So. I'm going to make it here at home. So this is a 12 cup or 51 ounce cold press pot. So these things are uh, one of them fancy coffee things. And I know some people are not into, you know, doing weird things with coffee and they're all, you know, molded. I only drink hot coffee and the cheapest coffee I can get. Yada, 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 and this and that. It's like, okay. So uh, let's check this out on uh, Amazon. Here at the Amazon's, Amazon site, we have the Bodum Cold Brew Coffee Maker. 51 ounces of Chet Black. Current price is $12.88. This is your uh, normal everyday French press cold brew coffee maker. So if you're into uh, cold brew coffee, uh, this is a perfect little uh, gadget to have. Includes two lids, one for the fridge overnight and one with the plunger to press down the coffee grounds in the morning <laughs> or afternoon. 51 ounce capacity, holds quite a bit of coffee. If you have one of them big uh, uh, Yeti uh, tumblers, I believe they're uh, 30 ounces or something, I think 30, 25 ounces, whatever it is. Uh, you'll get two pourings out of 51 ounces. And of course, if you already know how to use a French press, this is the same uh, idea, except that uh, instead of using hot water, you use cold water. And then instead of waiting, you know, three to five minutes, you wait 12 to 24 hours for this thing to brew. So you want to plan ahead. Uh, of course, it's a uh, Bodum, so uh, you know they've been around for a long time. And it says uh, step one for cold brew. It says add your fresh coffee. We recommend four Bodum scoops or four rounded teaspoons per eight ounces of coffee. So usually, for you know, from what I know and what I researched, uh, it's anywhere between six and ten scoops or. Uh, you know, if you can uh, convert that to uh, cups and stuff like that, then you go ahead. For me, it's a, uh, I, got, I use a cup measurement, and uh, I believe the uh, cup is, uh, it's a quarter cup. So uh, I use two scoops, so that's a half a cup of coffee or a half a cup of uh, freshly ground, coarse grind beans per uh per vessel, and that all depends on how strong you like your coffee, and of course uh, what type of blend you're using, because the uh, strength will vary depending on the, uh, the roast of coffee beans. And then you uh, go ahead and use uh, fresh cold water, so the colder the water the better. The cold water gives you 70% less bitter taste, and then place it in the fridge, or you can have it on your counter for 12 to 24 hours. And then go ahead and press, press the plunger and enjoy your coffee. And then typically uh, what you want to do is uh, whatever remains, if you don't plan on drinking it that following day, 
uh, put the rest in a separate container and then you can go ahead and rinse out your uh, your French press pot here for the next batch so uh, that's it for this uh, particular segment we'll continue with the video already in progress so there you go so for me this is all new so this is one of the deals where you know you start at the suggested uh, ratio of four scoops per eight ounces and uh, stuff like that so you get this little uh little uh, pamphlet here a little destruction manual and it's even got pictures in it oh my god Wow, talk about simple. It says, please read these destructions carefully before you use your device for the first time. Retain these instructions for future reference. Okay. <laughs> it says, place pot on a dry, flat, non-slip surface. Hold handle firmly. Turn the counter, turn the counter, turn the lid counterclockwise to unlock and then pull the plunger straight up and out of the pot. Add coarse grou uh, coffee grounds. We recommend to double your usual amount of coffee. Wow. Add fresh cold water and stir with a plastic spoon. Put the lid on your coffee press and place it in your refrigerator and let the coffee brew from 12 to 24 hours. After the brew, take the coffee press from the refrigerator and replace the lid with the plunger lid. So, of course, you know, you're going to have the plunger all the way up. And, of course, that may or may not fit in your refrigerator. So, you put your coffee in and then you put this lid on first. So, apparently, you can fill it up right up to the black here. So that should be, I don't know how many ounces, I'd have to measure it. See how many ounces that is. Probably the 51, who knows. And then after the 12 to 24 hour brewing period, and then you take this lid off, and you put this lid on, and then you French press it. So that means you put the lid on, lock it, nice and slow. So you get as minimal grinds in the blend and then serve with ice and enjoy your cold brew coffee and of course you can add your sugar and your milk if you would like to and any other fancy amendments so uh, that's simple enough so if you made uh, if you made French press coffee in the past it's pretty much the same thing except for one little extra step you put the lid on first then you wait, then you put the plunger on, and then you enjoy your coffee. So, that's that. <laughs> so let me uh, wash this out, and then uh, we'll make our uh, first uh, first attempt here. So I'll be right back. So now I'm back from washing it out. And uh, for the coffee of the choice, for this particular batch, I'm going to be using the Copper Moon, the that kind so this is a dark roast whole bean so I had to uh, of course I grind my own because I like my coffee as fresh as possible some people don't like doing that they don't like that extra step so the uh, ratio varies depending on how like how strong you like your coffee so it's anywhere between six scoops and a, and a cup so anywhere between six and, and 10 scoops. So here's my uh, freshly ground coffee. And it's a coarse grind for French press. So we're gonna put, uh, I'm gonna put nine scoops in. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, nine scoops. And then you use fresh cold water and we'll fill it up to the, uh, where it meets the black. And then you give it a little quick stir to uh, help it out so you can get the uh, brewing process going. Now all you got to do, you got two choices. You can either you can either leave it out on a counter for 12 to 24 hours, or you can put it in a refrigerator for 12 to 24 hours. So here, of course, it comes with two caps. This is your brewing cap, and you put the cap on. And then when you're ready to uh, pour, of course, this is like a French press, so uh, you get the pr plunger out. The plunger is just a uh, is a screen, and you just uh, and normally when you uh, French press, nice and slow. So you know if you can manage to uh, time yourself about you know half a minute to you know almost a minute, so you know nice and slow, and you can count you know thirty seconds, and that usually does a pretty good job of filtering all the grind, grinds out. So, simple as that. That's it for this video. We'll see you on the next one. And enjoy your cold-pressed coffee. Bye-bye.